hey guys welcome back to WP Event manager in this video we're gonna talk about how we can customize or edit our single event listing page by editing some files inside our WordPress installation two way we can do this first option is using WordPress built-in editor or second option is using some FTP or your web hosting's default uh, built-in file manager so I'm logged in to FTP using an web FTP program over here. You can use FileZilla or your code editors FTP functions as well, or you can use your uh, hosting provider's default built-in file editor. So firstly, when we are at root, most probably we'll have a public HTML or a htdocs folder, but in my case, it's public. So you need to go inside there. Then we have the WordPress installation files. Then we need to go inside WP content. Then we can go to plugins. Then WP event manager. Then templates. And inside here we have all the templates required uh, to run our WP event manager plugin. You can pretty much customize all of it uh, to make it your own. And I would highly suggest you don't make changes to these files over here because this will get overridden if we update uh, our plugin in future. Instead, what we can do since we are editing the single event listing page, we can download this content single event underscore listing dot php. Right, uh, let me download this file. So I have the file over here. Then, what we need to do, we need to go inside WP content, then themes. So in here we need to go inside uh, the active theme of your WordPress site. In my case, it's our event listing theme. So let me go inside here. Make sure you are going inside the theme you are currently using. Then we need to create a folder over here. It should be named as WP dash event dash manager. If you already have a folder named WP dash event dash manager, uh, then most probably your theme already supports our WP Event Manager plugin out of the box. But that doesn't mean you cannot change the template file. You still can go ahead and change this file using this guide. So inside here, let's upload our file. We have just downloaded it. So now let's open this file. So now here we have the codes for our single event listing page. Here's a short and simple tip. When you are editing this template file, make sure you do not uh, mess up this PHP codes as it will result to an error 500. And in that case, your site will be broken. And especially take care of this PHP codes if you are editing these files using WP uh, admin's default editor. In that case, you will lose access to WP admin backend and your site will be broken until you fix that error. So please take care when you are editing these files over here so why would one actually want to modify or like make changes to a template file because imagine this scenario you are using a theme which have like a moderate support for our wp event manager plugin using like global css or something but you want to add your custom distinct styles uh, into the template file using your own css class or custom overrides you can do that or you want to change the layout a little bit you can do that as well imagination is the limit over here so let me fire up an event first on a single page so we can demonstrate here we have our uh, event details page this is our default event details page so imagine i want to make this heading bigger like a lot bigger so let's look into its markup we're gonna use comb's default inspect menu so here we have the wp event title and then under that wp heading text so we're gonna look for the same over here so here we have the markup we've been looking for our wp em event title then under that wp em heading text what you can do we can add custom styling let's add uh let's increase our font size to 30 pixels then let's set color to uh blue right and if we save this page and come over here and reload our page see we now have so we have successfully uh, increased 
exactly our uh, font size and changed our color as well so this is a basic example like well how you can customize a template file in this case it's wp event managers single event details you can pretty much override every file we have under our template directory inside our wp event manager plugin we will love to see your creativity and how you guys override our templates uh, to create something marvelous for your event listing websites feel free to explore feel free to modify and enjoy developing one small warning or tips please do not mess up those php codes as they will trigger an error 500 then you have to like nitpick and fix whatever mistake you did in the first place to bring your site back to the life being that said i'm sure i'm saying goodbye thank you for coming along and i'll catch you in the next one